After seven years and a billion miles of space, the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft faces its greatest challenge on June 30th, 2004, to go into orbit. First, it had to maneuver through an obstacle course of rings. Uh, hopes and dreams of thousands of scientists and engineers are resting on the next few moments. We've been to Saturn twice before with the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft, but rather than these quick Kodak moments, we wanted to take a nice, long, leisurely look at the Saturnian system. The only way to do that was to slow down and let Saturn's gravity capture us into orbit. Current speed of the Cassini spacecraft, 50,000 miles an hour, and increasing as Saturn's gravity draws us in. Cassini presses on, aiming for the gap between the outer F and G rings, hopefully clear of orbital debris. There is always a risk if we hit something too big in a very sensitive area like perhaps one of the computers or even the fuel tank that perhaps uh, we might have ended the mission very early. We turn the main high gain antenna in the direction that the craft would see the ring particles coming toward it so that it would act as a shield. You are listening to the actual recording of tiny particles hitting the spacecraft as it crosses the plane of the rings. Uh, let's go ahead and switch Canberra over to B0. So far, so good. But as Cassini disappears into radio silence behind Saturn, everything rests on the spacecraft firing its engine perfectly and slowing down. It's a nail-biting weight at mission control. Go ahead and slow down. The Doppler has left out. As Cassini emerges proudly from Saturn's shadow, it turns to cross the ring plane again. To any potential inhabitants of the Saturnian system. Your eyes are not deceiving you tonight. There is a 30-second moon gracing your night skies, and that is the Cassini-Huygens spacecraft. With Saturn's 62 known moons, Cassini finds itself in good company. With out-of-this-world photo opportunities to make even a seasoned professional gasp. Saturn is the most photogenic planet in all the solar system, so I just, it, you know, I mean, you couldn't get luckier than me, right? <laughs> the ones that give me shivers are Saturn with the rings, where Saturn is a crescent. We're looking down on the rings from above, and there's a moon in the background. They are just artistic compositions. You know, here I am leading a team of scientists. Our duty, our job is to take images, and we have this fantastic target. Kind of have this feeling like I'm the, you know, standing on the bridge looking out the window. You know, I have a very strong feeling of being at the forefront, being out there exploring myself. That's the thrill of it for me. The view from Cassini's bridge exceeds anything seen before. Lo and behold, as we got close enough, it looked like the rings dissolved into all of these, you know, individual ringlets looking a lot like grooves on a phonograph record for people who remember phonograph records. And, and it was just very exciting then to try and figure out what could be causing that structure. What looked like rather featureless rings in a telescope now had, you know, thousands of features in them. I was surprised at how surprised I was at the clarity of the images because I thought to myself, well, for Pete's sake, you know, I've been thinking about this for years. For 14 years I've been thinking about this. I've been planning these images for a decade or whatever it was. You'd think I would have, you know, anticipated, well, we're going to have this kind of resolution. It's going to look like this. And I, I just hadn't. For the first time, vivid details of Saturn's rings are revealed beckoning us to stare in wonder for a closer inspection.